Okay. First, relieve the discomfort of a rich kid. This boy's condition is relatively Then mild. maybe save a poor kid's life it's if we have time. Too late to treat it with antibiotics. It would be best to perform an appendectomy. All right. Please begin the procedure. Please prepare to extract the appendix. First, inject first operation could be described as a tutorial for the procedure. Just gotta follow the instructions, and it's quite easy to do it. Two wires around the appendix. However, they must be tied in the appropriate places. One goes around the base of the organ. One part that might be a little tricky is this, because it's not obvious how you do it. You just hold A and drag the pointer away from the spot until you get an OK. The appendix has been, the appendix has been the fixed the membrane. Yeah, and then you do a patch to heal everything up, and you're good. Uh, incidentally, the other wire, the second wire, goes around the organ itself, if you didn't notice that. I kind of sped through that dialogue. That went smoothly. Let's move on to our next patient. Doctor, we have a problem. Oliver's condition has worsened. What? What's his condition? He complained of severe pain and then went into shock. Don't tell me. His appendix has burst. We'll find out when we open him up. We have to hurry and get in there. <sighs> the pus is causing inflammation. It's peritonitis. All right, I'm just going to pause this for a second. And drain the All right, so the whole wall of the abdominal cavity is inflamed because the appendix burst. You've got pus, and there's a special bonus for not allowing too much pus to form. You also have inflammation, which takes a long time to deal with and is caused by the pus. So you also have a special bonus for time, and the time and pus bonuses are therefore very linked. Uh, it's easier to do this with Marcus because you can slow down time, and that allows you to get rid of the appendix, therefore stopping the pus before it becomes a problem. I'm using Val, so I need to be a little bit more clever. I didn't actually get the bonuses this time, though. The pus. The appendix needs to be removed as well. You just want to get rid of any pus that's impeding your ability to deal with the appendix, especially since you can't do any cutting if there is any pus touching any part of the appendix for some reason. See, you saw it happen just then, I couldn't cut because there was pus nowhere near where I was working. You also can't tie these things down while there's pus nearby. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. The this is where I like to use Valerie's healing touch. Uh, except the pus apparently doesn't stop forming until you actually place the patch because you can still see some forming. I didn't realize that. Let's treat the remaining wounds. All these inflammations will make vitals drop really fast, which is why I use Valerie's touch here. The appendectomy is complete and the peritonitis has been treated. Let's close them up. is very lucky. If he'd waited any longer for surgery, he may not have pulled through. He'd be even more lucky if we'd treated him first, like sensible people. Rich or poor, we're all the same under the knife. I never thought such a simple operation could put me on edge like this. I think we've all learned something from this operation. Thus ends one of my favorite chapters, and I was 11.1 seconds over time. I don't know how many pus poogles formed it needed to be under 15. Anyway, see you next operation.